All right. This is Football Manager 2022, and we are going to start a new career. And um, so let's create our guy here. We're going to be from Europe because I found if I'm from America, I won't get hired, <laughs> even though I'm American. Uh, so we're going to go be from Scotland. Why not? Uh, but I think I'm going to go with unemployed and let's see who, um, let's see who hires us. One of the things we need to do is advanced setup and you have to click on all this stuff here. Advanced setup is going to be important because you need to put these teams in at least some of these teams. And I'll tell you why, if you don't put them in, you're not going to have a rounded out group of people when it comes to world cups and things of that nature. You figure out who you want to put in, but, um, in order to get good jobs, you're going to want to be the uh, Vanarama National League, North and South and above, because that's the lowest English. Unless, of course, you want to do the French lower one, which you can do um, if you do French 2 and above. See, what you want to do is you want to keep this three-star here, uh, minimum of three-star or ma maximum, minimum down. You can be all the way with five, but... If you get below this, it gets really, really slow. Process of breakdown will be bearable. Uh, this setup is your computer, and it'll tell you if it, if it can handle it. If you go to large and it gets down to two and a half, I have found it really slows down, and it's you know three thousand players different. So we'll add the extra French. Um, we'll do series B and above in Italy, but Italy's got so many players here, it drops down to two and a half. So we're going to keep that A and above. All right. Uh, we're not going to use the fake players and stuff. Uh, we are going to use the real name, so we do not add key staff. Um, this one's interesting because it adds key coaching staff, such as you know, assistants and stuff, assistant coaches, etc., uh, which don't have them. It's chiefly beneficial when running leagues, which have been created uh, or added through the editor. So ours have not. So we're not we're not going to click on that. And we are adding players to playable teams. Otherwise, if it's not something that they know or have scouted, there'll be nobody on it. That'll be a huge run on all your, uh, you know, reserve players and and transfer players. So, anyways, uh, we're we're gonna get rid of all that because you can go through these, but we don't run those. And I'm gonna run prevent the in game editor just so nobody thinks I'm cheating. So, these are who I'm gonna run. And the earliest you can start is six twenty one two thousand and twenty one based on this. So we're gonna go with that. Um, you could pick different ones, but that's the earliest one that I have found. So we're going to start. And yes, I know. And we're going to go ahead and move forward. And then what we're going to do, this is going to take just a second. Uh, just to give you an oversight of what we're going to do for this video series. Is we're going to be a mid mid guy with no job. We're going to see what we can find. But I'm not going to do all the cutting and only show you one game or three game every fourth game and simulate and... Um, some of the guys I'm watching or, or have been looking at what they're doing is they they're save scumming, you know, they they they're winning three out of four off screen, and then when you see them play, they lose two in a row. Um, you're going to see it all. You're going to see all the games. You'll see the decisions we make. You'll see how we go through it, uh, the good and the bad. And I'm going to need your help. Um, I don't know anything about football really, uh, but I do know how to run teams and in, in, you know the management side of stuff. So that'll be pretty good. And I'm still learning this system. So, we're, I'm going to need your help. You're going to have to put some comments down there in the uh, below and, and let me know, hey, that's a bad decision, or hey, you need to do this. This is how you bring somebody in, because there's stuff I'm still learning uh, that I don't know how to do. So, uh, But we'll, we'll get there, and slow but sure, we'll get through it and find us a job of some sort. I'm kind of hoping... Uh, that we're in the uh, Cinch League in Scotland. That'd be a great place to start, um, I think, anyways. As you can see, this doesn't take that long to load. If you've got an older computer, you're probably going to want to be more like a four-star over there. You may have to take some teams out or some countries out, things of that nature. Um, but you can look at it. It'll, it'll kind of, it's pretty good about telling you. So I kept the Argentina and Brazil in because they make good World Cup teams as well. And the players, it's good to have them. So anyways, like I said, you'll see all of it, and uh, you'll I'm, you'll also see how I'm going to regulate a lot of training. A lot of that stuff I'm not going to do. I'm going to relegate a lot of that stuff, responsibilities to my staff, and let them, the backroom staff, let them handle a lot of it and do my weekly meetings, and, and I will listen to them except for starting. 
Um, a lot of times when they suggest, oh, we'll change all these players around, they change so many players every single game um, based off of just mood and so forth. And, and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not good because you pull a guy out for a game and then he doesn't play good for three more games. So our stars are going to play. Uh, we may mix in some other people, but the goal is to have good subs so we can sub some guys in uh, for those that are tired or if they're just having a miserable game or something. But that is kind of the plan going forward. I mean, I don't mind being in the, in the low English league or uh, maybe the low French league. But I think the uh, Cinch league is kind of where I'm going to aim for, hope for anyways. Um, by the way, if you have no skills and you put that you want to be hired, then you can. Uh, we are going to do a new profile. Um, if you do a. Uh, I don't have any skills. I want to get hired. Curse Nash is going to hire you, so at least you'll get on there. So, all right, we're going to do Morius. Ooh, can't type. And can I do 17 as my last name? I think I can, right? So, we're going to say we are Scottish because if you say you're from America, I have found it nearly impossible to get hired. And we're just going to say we're from Edinburgh. Why not? And I guess we're going to be a young coach, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not going to select a favorite team. Mm, 1993, I don't know. Let me think here. That's pretty young. I, I, I'm an older guy, so let's just say 75. That'll work for me. And, yeah, teach me management concepts. I, I'm going to turn it off right now. Um, and I'm going to click on this right now. So. Staff recruitment, um, I don't remember. I haven't done it this way. So, okay. Handles team selection, yeah. Hiring a fire and general manager, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to recruit staff at all. I don't want to do staff renew contracts, renewals, no nope. coaching courses. Yeah, I, I'd like to do that. Scouting, um... I don't want to assign scouts, but I do want I do want scout meetings. Um, yes, yes, yes. Um, I think I'm going to do most of that. I don't want to do that one. Player contract discussions. Yeah, fine. Yep. Okay. Media. Yep. I'm doing all that stuff. Training. Nope. I'm not doing any of that stuff. Tactics. Yes, I'm doing that. And match day, yes, I'm doing that. Okay. Uh, yep, so there we go. See, my that trims down a lot. Number one, I don't even want to do the training. But two, it just makes it a lot easier. So we're going to say, okay, that looks good for now. And let's go do our, our body next. Uh, yeah, whatever, a regular looking guy. This is irrelevant. You're not going to see this person very often. So it's, it, it's kind of irrelevant. Uh, but I'm not 5'9", I'm 6'3". Um, we at least want to be that. And, yep, he looks fine. Um, attire, though, I think I'm going to go with something a little more relaxed, I think. I don't need the strings out, but, yep, that'll work just fine. Hit OK. And let's change to, oof, I don't know about green. Mm, let's go to white. Um... Do I have to have a stripe? I guess I have, ooh. Uh, I don't know. We're from Scotland, right? Blue. Um, okay. Highlight. Blue. There we go. Oh, no. Let's just go back to, oh, no. That doesn't look right, does it? Yeah, I guess that's going to have to work, huh? There we go. And the trousers. Um... Yeah, let's just go to black. I think that's going to be fine. And my boots. No, let's go black shoes. No, white shoes, I think. Let's go with the white shoes. Ooh, not very good looking. Oh, well, whatever. Coaching style. So, I'm not going to have an A license. I'm going to have a C license. But I'm going to say I was a continental level. Was it continental? Or let's just go with national level player. And I want to be more on the mental side, and we're going to be a motivator. So that should 
you know what, let's get a B license. Let's get a little bit better because I don't want to coach for Curse and Ashton, which is who you're going to wind up coaching for if you don't have any skills at all. So this isn't horrible, uh, decent coach, you know. Um, I went and got my licenses, you know, whatever. I don't know. So let's confirm and let's see. You have not picked a team managed start game unemployed. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, would you like to start playing? No, I don't want any additional head coaches. So let's let that load. And... Yep, we're going to save it. That's fine. It'll let me put 17 as the last name. I like that. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go to do our inbox. And we're going to say, yes, read your social feed if you want. That's okay. I don't need to. We're going to go to our job center, and we're going to filter. Let's get rid of all the jobs and just go with, come on, head coach. Thank you. And then I don't want international or reserve with you. So that doesn't give me much. It looks like I'm going to Curse Nash again, is what it looks like. Hopefully, I'm a, I mean, every time I've tried this, unemployed, that's where I want to go, is Curse Nash. And I, I don't want to do that. I really wanted to go to something a little bit different, but it looks like that's what's going to wind up happening, doesn't it? Uh, it does look that way. Um, yep, yeah, I'll apply to all the... Oh. Apply to all the teams of Vegas for your coach. Yeah, that appears to be. I really don't want to go there again. Curse and Ashen. Uh, every time that's what's happened, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get something a little different. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, you're not going to get this one. Maybe one of these. I was really hoping we'd get something in the circuit thing, but that's all right. So let's say, yep, we know that we. Put in applications. I think the game just defaults to that's where you're going to want them going. All right, let's continue. And yeah, um, I'm really hoping that's going to be different, but we'll see. We shall see. So unsuccessful, unsuccessful. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that offered was an interview. For Kirshen Ash, and that's it. Oh, I don't know. That's the only thing. Ah, boy, I, I didn't want to do this again. I want. I think maybe I should have just picked a team, huh? Oh well. Let's attend the interview. I guess Kirshen Ash is going to be the way to go, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you give me the chance. Um, they want to work. Yeah. Looks like. So. They want me to work within the payroll budget. Um, avoid regulation. Yep. Reach cup qualifying. Yeah. It's not too hard to do. Let's. Uh, yeah. Exciting future sounds great. It says if hired, we would expect you to finish uh, finish clear of regulation battle with us unable to consider keeping you in a role should you be relegated. Do you think you could do better? Um, I think we could finish mid table. Uh, payroll of three hundred twenty six thousand five hundred seventy um, is an offer. Should you get the job? What do you think of the proposed figure? I think we're going to need more. Um, I think I don't think it's good enough to acquire because we're going to be right on top of that budget. So um, I would expect to be. I would need a slightly larger payroll than the one proposed. I don't feel the proposed figure is large enough to build a team to meet the proposed expectations. I agree. Is there anything you would like to ask for? No, I'm good as far as that stuff goes. That concludes the interview. They may not hire me. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. All right, let's continue. Uh, I should have just picked the team because that's what I wanted to do is go play in the Scottish lower leagues, but we'll see. I don't know that I'm going to get hired. So maybe fired by CRR. Okay, well. Are there any other jobs? Applied head coach. Uh, so they still have vacancies. They don't even want to talk to me, huh? You guys don't even want to talk to me, really? Hmm. Okay. Well. That's a darn shame. I thought I'd picked enough skills for them to at least talk to you, but I guess not, huh? Um, take charge ATG. Yeah, well, we, we're still waiting. Take charge of Rostow. So, no, no job for us at this moment. 
Uh, okay, well, they are going to, well, I think it's by default. I mean, I don't think they pay with the, work within the payroll budget. They did up it a little bit to 350. No, I think that was the same, wasn't it? Salary's 46000 a year. Uh, yeah, let's start negotiations. I really don't want to work for this team, but okay. It'll be what it'll be. We'll make the best of it. Um, intermediate, yep, 12 months, yep. 46, that's fine. Percentage of club competition or compensation required for coaching was 50%. Okay. Um, I want to do, let's see. Nah. Hmm. If I avoid regulation, then I would like to see an increase of 12.5K. Let's see what they say. Looks like they do like it. Okay. Well, let's finalize the deal then. Please, everything sort out so quickly, and let's exit talks. All right. Well, there you go. I guess we're going to be at that team. There we go. Curse and Ashton. All right. Well, we're going to have to make the best of it. I know the team pretty well, so at least there's that, right? Yep. Vacant, vacant. I'm going to let them worry about all that stuff. And we can have, what, 4,000 people. Oh, boy. Woohoo! And we're going to change this around quite a bit. I mean, it, it's not the worst in the world like it is, but Thomas is really good. Thomas and Mahone make good wingers, but I want a double middle um, with uh, McKay and Knowles, obviously, uh, be in the middle. So I think we're going to go with a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 if that's possible. I think it is possible. Uh, yep. Thank you. Yeah, all that stuff. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. Yes, we will do the press conference. Yes, we want to enter. Uh, you know what? I don't need the friendly for because we're going to do plenty of friendly matches. I don't need another one. Uh, and every week. Okay, confirm. So make sure you're doing your inbox, right? Make sure you're doing all this stuff. So don't, uh, yeah, uh, tactical. We're going to get to that in just a second here. So let's look at the squad. We're, we're not the worst in the world, but Knowles is our best player by far. Uh, Thomas is going to be on our right. Mahone's going to be on the left. Although Mahone does like being on the left pretty good. Uh, we are going to do a fluid counterattack. And for now... Um, four, two, two, two. Yeah, that's really, but I don't know about narrow, but let's see. I guess that's going to be about the one I'm looking for. Huh? We'll, we'll make the adjustment, but yeah. Um, that's about what I want to look at right there. And we're going to confirm. So Mahone does pretty good on the left i think that's where he likes to be let's see he likes to be on the right but thomas likes to be on the right so can't really have both guys doing and thomas plays really well where is thomas right now uh, where's thomas where you at buddy there you go adam thomas he's attacking midfielder he does like to be on the right um, he likes to be midfield, but he does really well up here in the in the front. I could do that and that because Mahone, even though he likes to be up front, we're, we're not going to be up front. I think we're going to go here and here. Mahone's just going to have to deal with it. We're going to go middle and middle. That's what we're going to want to go with is right there. Um, so this is going to be Knowles. Where is he? Knowles, and this will be McKay. Uh, McKay likes being up front, but I think he's going to be support. Hmm. I think a ta target forward, deep lying forward. Deep lying forward's main function is to link to the attack to the midfield. He aims to drop the ball deep in a hole. Yeah, we're going to go with that and have him be support. And then obviously Knowles is going to be uh, advance forward, target forward, can transform the average team into a good team by using sheer physicality. 
disrupt the opponent's okay space for making some France. The advanced forward's main role is to lead the line and look to spearhead attacking moves. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay. And I want Thomas to be support and Mahone. I think I want him to be inside forward, staying in versus way out, um, and be able to attack. But with support duty, the inside forward cut diagonally into space behind the defense and play through walls, take long shots if the opportunity arises. That's kind of what I want Mahone to do. And I think I want Thomas to do the same thing. Advanced playmaker aims to drop the ball deep between the opposition's midfield defense, making himself available for his teammate passes. Aim and turn defense and attack in an instant. No, I think we want to be the inside cut. We're going to do that because we're going to. I could do inverted winger. Austin cut inside. Yeah, I like inside cuts. Let's go with inverted winger for him. And we're going to go with. Directly at the defensive opposition. Should you pass and cross and moves into the th attacking third? That's pretty nice. Support's going to be more. He's going to cut and be inside and attempt to. Yeah, I don't want him being way out like that. Yeah, I think support. Can you. Let's see. You're pretty good at inverted winger too. And we'll just do support. And no, you know what? One inside forward, one inverted winger. Okay. Okay. Um. Our midfielders are going to be uh, mid center is Lussy is one, and middle center is Whitman. So uh, Whitman likes to be middle center. Yep, and Lussy likes to be middle center. Okay, and I think I'm going to go with just. I mean, I want to be a defending. Middle fielder for Whitman and Lussy. He can get a few goals. I mean, his pace, stamina, his aggression, his anticipation, his agility, bravery. I mean, I don't know. His tackling is pretty good. Whitman is also pretty well the same, but again, they're hmm, corners, cross the dribbling, first touch handling, long shots, seven. No, see, they're just they're not really great. Long shots, nine. He's not horrible. So we're going to have you on, um, I think, just central midfielder. Ball, let's go with ball winning midfielder. Um, and you're going to be on defend. And then, oops, let's see, let's set you up to a, I think we're going to go back. I think we're just going to do this. But you're going to be more of a support role. Um, and that'll work. So we got full backs and then central backs and all that stuff. Okay. So let's see here. Defense center is Flowers. Goalkeeper is going to be Renshaw. Defense left is Wilson. Wilson's a very good player. Porsche is not horrible. Waters is a, he likes to play back as well, but Waters prefers to play left. Um, Wilson can play center. So let's move Wilson over to here. And let's move Waters over here. And my de defensive right is... Um, I think, yeah, Chaloner does pretty good on the right. And we keep Merrill, Mahone, these type of guys are going to be really, really good. Especially Mahone. He comes in, Hobson comes in pretty good. Uh, let these guys kind of be uh, your backups. They're going to be able to come in, not Mahone, uh, but um, Coran, Dunn, Daly, Merrill. Uh, Porsche's pretty good, and Hobson's not a bad backup striker. So let's set you for support. No, 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 no I think no nonsense. Although primarily a defense player must be prepared to get uh, forward when the team needs extra width. Support due to fullback will support the midfield, provide extra width, and we'll look for crosses. Um... I think, I think just no nonsense uh, going forward into attacking more. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with no nonsense and defend. I, Waters is great, but oops. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do the same thing here. I think this is going to be a no nonsense fullback. Okay, and then in the middle, I want a ball playing defender, and I want you to defend. 
and the same thing here for you. It's going to be ball playing. Eh, yeah, you're not as good at this, are you? Central defender will stay in the middle. Defensive partner look to break up attacks. Um, I think we're just going to go central defender with you on defend. And on our goalkeeper, we want just straight goalkeeper. I don't want the sweeping goalkeeper. All right. And that's going to be our... I think we're not going to be cautious. We're going to be balanced. Um, our in possession, we're going to keep our passes, whatever. I don't want the tempo too high, so we're going to go with standard. I don't want any time wasting. It's fine. And I think we're going to focus through the middle of the field and work that way. Um, and I don't want, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I need to mess with that. On final third, I don't want to get way out here. I want to kind of get more shot on sight. Um, but I, no, I don't really want to do that. No, I want them to be able to move more towards uh, being able to cut. So, all right. And on our change, on our in transition, I have counter press and counters. That's usually already done. I like that as well. And... Yeah, we're going to leave that. Too many too many daggum instructions, man. They get messed up. So, here we go. I'm going to move my bar forward just a tiny bit. I don't want to get way up. I'm going to go right down in the middle, and that's fine. And we are set. Looking good. And I'm going to start training that stuff. As that, as that goes along, they'll start to train, and they'll start to learn this. This is basically a 424 is what it is. So, I think it's going to work pretty good. We'll see. And we are going to go to scouting. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to take the scouting induction. Yes, finish. Thank you very much. And like I said, I have relegated this and I want them to do it. So nobody there so far. So that's fine. And tactical directions required. I did it. Didn't I not do that? Yeah, it's set. So let's continue. All right. And weekly staff meeting. Let's attend the meeting and see what they have to say. So. I believe that Marcus Porsche would make a much better vice captain than Dale Whitman, due in part to being a more professional player. It is, however, no, worth noting that changing the cap captaincy can potentially have a negative effect uh, among players. So tread carefully. You know, I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Porsche is not starting. Whitman is. So we're going to move on from that. Um, individual trainers, I would recommend individual corner kicking for Jack Dunn, taking into account of his potential to handle these situations. Okay. And I would recommend individual free kicking for Lussie. Okay. Let's accept. Um, assignments to remove. I think Neil Gillespie should be replaced in his assignment to handle Dispute coach for Chris and Ashton as he's being asked to work in too many different areas. Okay. Uh, I feel Jack Dunn's game would improve if we try to develop his weaker foot. Okay. I feel Larry Daly's game would improve if we try to develop his weaker foot. Yep. And weaker foot. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. That works for me. And see how I like I like letting him do this stuff. Um, I'm of the increased opinion that Jack Dorsch has potentially become a slightly quality player for this club. Perhaps exceeding the ability of Jack Dunn. Uh, or Dice, I mean. Okay. Well, he could. I mean, we'll see. Merrill is potentially become a good player. Yes, that's that's true. Merrill, I think, will become a pretty good player. And that Tony Potts has potentially become a quality player for this club. He's under 18s. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that information. And the board will only allow one person to form this job role. Okay. 46 year Carl Hackney would be a good choice to add to the team's coaching staff. Yep, that's fine. That's fine, and that's fine. All right, and then let's get to the other meeting. The problem is those guys get very expensive, and uh, yeah, schedule out the meeting. Yep, schedule out the meeting. Okay, very good. Let's end the meeting, and staff follow ups now. The problem is, is, is when you look at the budget, we can't afford all these people. So I'm literally not going to do anything and I'm just going to leave them. So we're going to continue. I'm not going to mess with it. We can't afford them. Those are great suggestions. And, um, if they come up and ask me what I want to do about it, I'll say, well, I'll let the guy, new guy handle it, you know, 
All right. Uh, Leabrus, I guess, he, well, he's 16-year-old, signed a contract. Hutchinson signed a contract, 16-year-old. Duffy has signed a contract, 16-year-old. Burks, yeah, because I'm not messing with any of them guys. Um, yep, I know about squad dynamics. So what I am thinking about doing, though, is Knowles. Because right now, if you look at our finances, we are doing okay. So currently spending 302000 of our 359000 So I've got some room. But I'd like to go to my squad, and I'd like to grab Knowles. He is not under contract, see? So I would like to approach him and offer a new contract. And star player, immediate. What? No. He's not going to be. He's an attacker. Pure and simple. Attacking midfielder, center. No. No, you're going to be an attacker. Um... He's not very good. Yeah, whatever. He's he's a good player, though. Trust me. So we're going to do all that, and I'm going to add a promise, and I'll say playing time in 22-23 is going to be um, star player. Oh, it is ongoing. Never mind. I don't need to do that then. We'll remove it. Okay. Star player, immediate, attackers, suggest promises. He says, I'm not fully convinced by the prospect of playing for your club. Prove your offer to make, hmm, okay. Uh, maybe because he thinks he's attacking midfield, I'll just put that. Maybe that'll help. I'm not fully convinced. Oh, okay. How about, uh, let's see. Uh, be established, yeah. Finish in the top half. Mm, I don't know if we could do that. Game promotion. I don't know if we could do that that fast. Let's say be established, and then let's make one more, and we'll appoint as vice captain. How's that? Really? Uh, okay. I really don't know what else I can offer. I guess he doesn't want to do it, huh? Oh, we can, well, I guess that kind of sucks. Can I do... Will improve coaching team. How's that? Not fully committed. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, how's that? No. Okay, he does like the coaching team thing. Um, how about or the you know, improve the coaching team? I don't know. Uh, this season is mid standing finish. Would that help him? I appreciate these turns now. It's time we talk. Okay. You drive a hard bargain. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah. Okay. So let's negotiate your contract. What I'd like to do is do a two-year contract. I want to give you a little bit more. And I want to give you a little bit more bonus. And what I want to do is say if you get 10 goals, you get 2.3. No, let's do this. Let's go 1.5K if you get 15 goals, which he's going to get. Uh, goal bonus is, what, 95? Let's just make that 90. And... Suggest terms. These terms are acceptable, but we should evaluate. Yep. I'm going to finalize that deal. I want to sign him because he is our long-term success. We need him. So what we're going to do is we're going to end that there. We have got Knowles possibly coming back for a two-year contract, which will be really good. We've got a good, solid team. We have built our tactic. We're going to start our scouting and finances. We did get a little bit more than what we've got, so we can start looking for some players as we scout. Maybe some transfers we can bring in. We'll see. Um, not sure who I would go after. Um, I don't know. We've got a decent team, I'll be honest with you. So, um, 
this is what we're going to go with. I think these are going to be inside cutters. And I think one of our tactics, I think I want to change. Yeah, we're going to feed up through there. I did that already. So it's going to be really good. They're going to anchor the middle. These guys are going to feed Knowles. They're going to feed McKay. Knowles is going to just kill people with this 4 2 4 uh, up front attacking like this. And we've got a good solid backfield. So what we're going to do is we're going to end there, put in this cut, and we will get closer to our first friendly match, which is coming up. Uh, in a little bit versus Ruthen. I don't even know who Ruthen is. Like I said, I don't know much about football. Uh, it is an away game. So the first three games are going to be away. But they are friendlies. They should be pretty simple. And then our first actual game is going to be versus Chester August 14th. So, hey, that's my birthday in real life. All right. So we've got June, we've got July, and we've got August uh, to get through. So about a month and a half, and we're going to be there uh, playing Chester. Hopefully we can get through friendlies and do well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, leave comments. Tell me how to how to get out there and do some good scouting and transfers. Um, I don't even know how to look for players too well in here. So, um, hey, give me some advice. I sure would appreciate it. I'll catch you next time. It's Maury17. You guys have a great day.